The entry point for the nail is typically at the tip of the greater trochanter on the AP X-ray and at the junction of the anterior and middle third of the great trochanter on the lateral X-ray. This point may vary slightly depending on the patient anatomy and fracture pattern. Insert the 3.2 mm guide pin through the soft tissue protector and aim towards the central axis of the femoral shaft. Advance at least to the level of the lesser trochanter. The pin trajectory is verified through fluoroscopy. Remove the black pin guide and ream over the guide pin with the 16.5 mm cannulated entry reamer. The entry reamer has grooves which are read from the top of the soft tissue protector. The grooves indicate the reaming depth needed to insert the nail flush, 5 mm or 10 mm deep into the femur. The 3.2 mm guide pin is removed and the 3.0 mm ball nose guide wire is introduced down the shaft of the femur using the guide wire gripper. The length for the ES trochanteric nail and long trochanteric nail is determined by sliding the guide wire depth gauge over the guide wire to the greater trochanter and reading the measurement from the laser mark on the guide wire. Begin reaming with the 8 mm end cutting reamer over the ball nose guide wire. Sequentially ream larger with the side cutting reamers until cortical chatter is achieved. It is recommended to ream at least 1.0 to 1.5 mm over the desired nail diameter. Introduce the nail into the proximal femur over the guide wire using the radiolucent targeting arm to control nail rotation. Complete the insertion with gentle mallet strikes on the impactor pad. Once the desired nail depth has been achieved, insert the lag screw triple sleeve assembly through the targeting arm by pressing the black button. Slide in the assembly until it contacts the lateral cortex of the femur. Remove the obturator and place the 3.2 mm lag screw guide pin through the pin guide. Verify the pin depth and trajectory using fluoroscopy. Place the guide pin depth gauge with the flat end against the pin guide under the 3.2 mm lag screw guide pin and read the measurement. The guide pin is measured to the tip, so at least 5 to 10 mm should be subtracted from the measurement when determining drilling depth and lag screw length selection. Other factors, such as fracture reduction, nail position, and anticipated fracture compression should be accounted for. Remove the 3.2 mm pin guide. Set the adjustable stop on the 10.3 mm cannulated lag screw drill at at least 5 to 10 mm less than the measurement so the tip of the drill does not pass beyond the guide pin. Insert the 10.3 mm cannulated lag screw drill over the guide pin and drill into the femoral head until the depth stop contacts the sleeve. Slide the lag screw inserter assembly over the guide pin and through the lag screw sheath. Rotate the assembly clockwise with the blue handle. When the black laser marking on the inserter reaches the sheath, the lag screw has exited the other end of the sheath. It is recommended to insert the lag screw further if intraoperative compression is planned. The 10.5 mm telescoping lag screw features many innovative internal features and mechanisms and is locked into the nail via expansion of the circumferential locking ring. The design allows up to 10 mm of postoperative compression within the lag screw to prevent lateral thigh pain. For initial compression of the fracture, push the compression sleeve towards the targeting arm and rotate clockwise until the desired compression is achieved. Pull back on the gold knob and turn counterclockwise to disengage the blue handle and engage the black handle. The black line will now be showing. To lock the telescoping lag screw, hold the blue handle stationary and turn the black handle clockwise until the torque limiter clicks. Remove the lag screw capturing rod nut by hand or with the ball hex driver. Pull out the lag screw inserter assembly and unscrew the lag screw capturing rod by hand or with the removal tool. The lag screw guide pin is also removed. To allow postoperative compression in the telescoping lag screw, Remove the activation sleeve by inserting the activation tool through the sheath into the lag screw and turning counterclockwise. The activation sleeve will retain the tip of the activation tool once disengaged from the lag screw. Remove the lag screw sheath to complete the lag screw insertion. For the ES trochanteric nail and short trochanteric nail, distal locking is performed through the targeting module. Place the distal screw triple sleeve assembly through the appropriate distal hole in the targeting module and mark the skin.
Make the incision and advance the distal screw triple sleeve assembly to the lateral cortex of the bone. Remove the distal drill guide obturator. Drill bicortically using the 4.0 mm calibrated drill bit. Determine the screw length using the calibrations on the drill bit. Remove the distal drill guide and insert the 5.0 mm captured screw with the 5.0 mm hex driver. When the first laser mark reaches the sheath, the bottom of the screw head has reached the other end of the sheath. Unscrew the capturing rod and the hex driver and remove the driver assembly. To remove the targeting arm, unscrew the locking bolt from the jig through either the top hole or impactor pad attachment hole. As the fracture begins to heal, the telescoping lag screw is able to compress up to 10 millimeters without any lateral protrusion into the surrounding tissue. The Arthrix trochanteric nail system is available in three nail types, the short nail, long nail, and innovative ES nail.